Hi, my name is Harper Becker. I've been a member of this congregation since I was born and can definitely say that when I was first carried to the nursery building, I never thought this day would arrive. I remember the days of learning Lord's Prayer, singing songs, and hearing the stories accompanied by snacks and candy. I was always wondering when I would be able to be a big kid and watch Father Pat's sermon. Eventually, my parents allowed me to come to their service as long as I stayed quiet. Once I became the big kid I always wanted to be, I realized there was no more snacks and games, but communion to be taken and sermons to be listened to. I used to spend my time drawing on napkins or messing with my sisters in efforts to make my parents mad, to not make my parents mad and make it through the service so we could go to Mexican after. Eventually, I started maturing, and with that, I started listening to the sermons, singing the songs, and reading scriptures. In doing this, I started to really grow my my relationship with the Lord and find the true meaning of going to church. After a while, I was told that I would have to acolyte and help with the services of where Polly backslid, and I was terrified. I begged my parents to let me just continue shadowing forever or help by doing something simpler, but they refused. As Father Pack knows, I definitely handed him the wrong thing one too many times and messed up during the services, but it was all part of the learning experience. With acolyting came more opportunities to get involved with the church. This included helping with BBS and eventually training other acolytes. In doing these activities, I've grown not only closer with God, but the people in this congregation. It's crazy to think that throughout my time here, I've gone from being the baby baptized to helping college back with other baptisms, and now I'm going to college. I'm extremely excited to further my education this next school year at the University of South Alabama, and can't wait to see where it takes me in the future. A common question you're asked as a senior is, what are you majoring in? And let me tell you, being asked this question time and time again, it truly gets your head spinning, and sometimes it can make you think you should have all the answers. As for me, if I'm being completely honest, even being, after being asked this question over a hundred times, I have no clue what I'm willing to spend the rest of my life doing. But what I do know is that it's all in God's plan and everything will work out. I'm extremely thankful for my experiences here, for my parents' guidance, and for the unconditional love this church has shown me. And can't wait to see where it takes me through these next few years in my journey through life. Thank you to every one of you, because without you, this church would not be the same, and neither would I.